welcome, and here we go. Hello folks, let's learn how to use the pen tool, which you will find very, very helpful for making your own shapes or cop, you know, tracing a shape or all kinds of things like that. So, especially if you're going to be transferring to vinyl, um, whether it's a sticker or a t-shirt or a pair of sweatpants or a mug or any of those kinds of things. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is my photo of a hummingbird that I've gotten. Um, if you want to know how large it is, go up to image and go to image size and it will tell you it's an in inches, it's 6.4 inches by 4 inches, um, which is not very big. So I'm going to actually want to use this as the main part of a t-shirt. So I'm going to want to move this. Um, so I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to go file new and I'm going to go to print and we're gonna make it eight and a half by 11 because that fits fairly well on most t-shirts. Um, oh, I forgot to make the background transparent, didn't I? Well, let's get rid of it, magic wand, and delete, and now it's transparent. And I'm going to then use the move tool to drag my hummingbird in here. And you can see it's not actually very big. So um, using, I'm gonna expand it so that it fits in here a little bit better because I don't want necessarily the background. I really am looking at only having the hummingbird be the main feature. I do want all of the hummingbird, so let's try not to cut the wings off or the beak off, but I am looking only at the, at the hummingbird part of it. Okay, that should be great for me. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work. And the way that we're going to do this is I need a blank layer over top of this background layer. So I'm gonna create a new layer with this plus sign down here and I'm gonna label it, always label your layers. And I'm gonna call this uh, Hummingbird Trace. All right, and we're gonna use the pen tool. So the pen tool is down here. It looks like one of those old style calligraphy pens. And behind it, you have pen tool, freeform pen tool, curvature pen tool, and a few other things. We're mostly gonna be looking at the pen tool and the curvature pen tool. I tend to do most things with those two tools. Curvature pen tool is new since 2019 CC, um, and it's a game changer. It makes things so much easier than just using the straight pen tool. I use the pen tool when I wanna make straight lines. I use the curvature pen tool when I wanna use curvy lines, and you can switch back and forth between them, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna start with the pen tool just so you can see. Now the key to the pen tool is to click and let go of the mouse button without dragging it, okay? If you click and drag, see how you got this handlebar business? If you have more than one vertice in a row, that's gonna cause problems, watch. And if I click and drag, oh no, now it's like doing some crazy things and it's really hard to control. We don't want that. So we're gonna click and let go of the mouse. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the end of the straight line and we're gonna click and let go of the mouse. So I'm gonna make my uh, hummingbird have a straight wing at the top, just for the purposes of what we're doing now. Now, this also, this looks much more curved. So I'm gonna go over here, right click, and change to the curvature pen tool and keep going. So here we go. I am gonna trace, now, if you notice, if you can see, I can click in the center of this one and just pull it and it starts to curve. It's wonderful, this tool. So you can keep going and making this as precise as you wish, getting it as close to perfection as your little heart desires. Um, and we're gonna outline this hummingbird because I would like the silhouette of the hummingbird um, to actually do some design work inside of. So I want it to be the shape of a hummingbird, so I'm using a photo of a hummingbird, so it's pretty accurate. But I would like my finished product is going to be have a design inside of it. And so the only way to have the design inside of it is to create the silhouette. Could you look up a silhouette like on clip art? Absolutely you could. There's no reason you can't. But I like to take something that's true in nature. Now you can see it's changed my line at the top. Um, I can click on my line and bring it back down and, and make it fit. Um, I like to, to choose something from nature and go from there because it's a great way to be responsive to what you see, but also 
to create your own design so you're not infringing on somebody's intellectual property. So I have created a design here of a hummingbird that I want to use. So now um, I had this pen tool set to path. I should have said that at the beginning. But path is important. So in the paths tab, you'll see there's a little working path, work path. What I want to do in this layer here, the hummingbird layer, is I want to outline this. So the way you do that is you choose your color in the foreground. I'm gonna use black so it's easy to see. And then you want your paintbrush to be set at uh, the size and shape and hardness you want. So I'm gonna use a hard round brush that's really big for my little tiny hummingbird. So I'm going to reduce the size. That's about right. That's what I want it to look like. Now I'm going to go back to the pen tool, make sure it's highlighted, and I'm going to right click in the path that I've made. And what I'm going to ask it to do is stroke the path. Okay. Yes, I wanted to do the brush. I set the brush up the way I wanted. I click OK and there we go, it's stroked the path. If I would like to keep this, I now need to go to paths and delete this work path. If I don't, it's gonna connect the next set of paths I make. So, delete. There is my outline. Now, if I hide the hummingbird, you can see I have the perfect outline of a hummingbird. So now I could design inside this just using this as an outside. Uh, tracing sort of thing. So think of it as tracing paper. Um, I could, instead of stroking the path, do something a little bit different. So again, with the pen tool selected, right click, and we're gonna fill the path. Foreground color, okay, we'll make it black. Click okay, there you can see, and I do exactly the same thing. There it is. I can uh, get rid of the layer and now I have the fully black outline of the whole thing. So that's how you use the pen tool uh, to trace or to make your own shapes. You could make your own shape, um, but to get a silhouette of something or to fill it in or to trace it, that's how you use the pen tool in conjunction with I used the brush tool, but you could use the pencil tool or the eraser tool or however you need to. You can make it fit what you are doing.